Hello, welcome to another quick little explainer video. Today we're going to talk about the start of Zoom meetings. Have you ever been in a Zoom meeting and people have started joining and you didn't know whether to stop your conversation or try and let them join in? Or maybe you've been the person that is joining a Zoom call and you join it and there's a whole lot of people already chatting away and it's difficult to find your bearings. Or maybe you join and you all just sit in awkward, awkward silence looking at your blank screens. I don't like any of those situations and so I like to start off with some music and a PowerPoint slide to let people know that the room is active and that we're counting down to the session beginning but also that they can sit quietly and they don't need to have awkward chats or have their chats interrupted. So I'm going to show you really quickly how to do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in to my PowerPoint deck. So I've got a Zoom call running but I'm going to come into PowerPoint and what I've done is I've just made the title slide and I've just put it in a few different colors. And I do that so that there will be a rotating PowerPoint deck and people will notice this. You know, it's not animated, this is nothing fancy, but they'll notice the change which says, you know, we're active and we're here. So all I've done is created different sides uh, of the same background but different color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into transitions and I'm going to make sure that uh, I've got after and I normally do about three seconds, so just to make sure that's correct. Three second transition and apply to all. That means that the deck will rotate whether I click through it or not. Next thing I want to do is go into slideshow and go to set up slideshow. Here, important parts that we need to click are loop continuously until escape. That just means the PowerPoint slides will play until I press escape to come out of them. And then also advanced slides using timings if present because we've just told it we want it to translate, uh, transition every three seconds so uh, the timings are built in. So now, if I just test it, if I play my PowerPoint and we wait a few seconds, it'll change colour. So there's just something slightly different happening for the visuals in the room. And that'll just continue to rotate. I'll come out of that now. Okay, so we've got our rotating PowerPoint. That's nice and easy. Next thing, the sound, the music. A really simple way of doing this. There's complex ways and there's simple ways and I'm going to show you the easiest way possible. Go into YouTube. There are royalty free playlists or you can use Spotify if you would like. Here's a royalty free playlist on YouTube. We play it. I'm hearing sound. Right now my Zoom call wouldn't though. I'm just going to minimize that. I'm going to come back into my PowerPoint and I'm just going to have my PowerPoint running. So let's present it. And then I'm going to come into my Zoom call. I go into Zoom. I click to share my PowerPoint. Then I go up to the top and I go to share computer sound. And now we should be hearing some of that music being piped in over the session. And that means that when people join, they can sit, they know that the session is about to start, it looks active, it's a nice welcome environment, and it's a really nice way to start a session. And that means once you are ready to launch, you can just stop screen sharing, stop the music, and say hello and welcome. Hope that helps. It's a really nice way to start your sessions. More tips soon. If you've got any questions, leave them in the chat box and I will try and get back to you.